Hi, today I'm going to be showing you my vinyl collection, and I have a lot of records, so I'm not going to waste your time. I'm just doing this for fun. So this first one is uh, 1975 with I Like It When You Sleep, For You Are so, so Beautiful Yet So Unaware of It. Awful title, but pretty s s uh, solid pop album. Um, there's the fold out there. Um, yeah, you know, it's just a, it's, it's a long album, clear vinyl, very nice. It's a long album, but I enjoy it. It's kind of become ambient music in a way, even though it's not, it just kind of feels that way to me, but not in like a bad way. Uh, next up is Anamanaguchi with Endless Fantasy. Um, another long album, but, uh, probably, I don't know, my second favorite from them comes on this cool, um, splatter, a clear splatter, fits the vibe, pretty nice, and, uh, very colorful gatefold there, cool art on the back as well. It was cool f uh, finding this. My local store has pretty much every album f from these guys, and I saw them live not too long ago. And that was a lot of fun. I also have their 2019 album, USA. This was the first Gucci album I got on vinyl. This one's just black, but I know there's a green variant out there. Um, you know, pretty cool VHS-inspired kind of visuals pretty cool I also have um, the Back to the Future soundtrack on vinyl it was cheap I just got it it's my favorite movie I don't really listen to this thing very much but uh, it's neat now these next three are a bunch of Beatles records that I don't they're very old I think they're from this the 60s or 70s my grandma found them at like a thrift store or her thrift store and uh, they're in pretty decent shape um, this this is their this is one of their greatest hits 62 to 66 so you have like yeah so this is just their older 60s stuff which I don't really listen to and this is like a little uh, paper that came with it, I guess. Again, it's still there. Um, but yeah, I haven't spun this at all. Too much hard panning for me. But then this is their uh, uh, 67 to 70, which I guess would be um, Sergeant P uh, Pepper... Um, White Album and Abbey Road and I've heard Pepper and I've heard Sergeant Pepper and Abbey Road and those are great albums had to listen to them in mono though god then I have Sergeant Pepper again old pressing it even still has these like cutouts still intact um British, British gatefold with the British people. Um, it's in pretty good shape. It actually sounds pretty good, but uh, it's uh, it's it's stereo. So uh, uh, <laughs> uh, it's stereo. So. You have that weird hard panning effect with all the instruments and I cannot, I cannot tolerate it. So I have to like listen to it. I, I, I can't really do mono on my uh, setup. I don't know. Uh, so I don't really spin those Beatles records very much, but uh, you know it is better than the Beatles. Billy Cobb. Not really. Um... 
Zerwi on vinyl. Wow. Uh, just an EP came from Needle Juice Records. It took forever to ship. But uh, I figured I'd get it because this EP is really fun. I remember it got recommended to me on YouTube. And I was just like, and I was just kind of like, uh, oh, this is like a joke EP. No, it's actually pr pretty good. Um, I do like the cover art for some reason. It's it it, uh, it it has an interesting vibe to it. So uh, yeah, it sounds really good um, for as you know whole made as it is. But Needle Juice did a good job with the pressing, and I got the Virgin Tears uh, press because I'm a virgin. It also has this cool slip insert so yeah with all the lyrics on the back fun EP better than what Weezer put out in 2019 that's for sure now for one of my favorite albums ever Burials Untrue a uh, fantastic ambient ish album black black vinyl this thing sounds great if you haven't listened to this album please do if you like electronic music and you want something very very cool this thing is amazing it's perfect I love it a lot and it's so cool to have on vinyl uh, I got it off of eBay S sadly it's a bit damaged on the top but uh it's fine it sounds pretty good i've spun it a good a good amount of times um i want to get his a uh, debut eventually but uh, what i do also have is a a 12 inch single from burial fortet tom york of radiohead uh it's just two songs on a big 12 inch very thin uh, I was cheap I just got on to turntable lab it's neat it's they're great songs so next I have another one of my favorite albums Carly Rae Jepsen's Emotion this is like the best pop music I've ever heard uh I love having this I love this album so much like goddamn, it's so amazing I love it so much ah uh, if you haven't heard it, you should, but if you're a Meeban, then you suck and you hate it and you should uh, feel bad about that because, uh, screw you. But I love the the record sleeve. Look at this graphic design, man. Look at this. Amazing. Got the cool fonts and that. Oh, and then her here. Uh, and all and the rest it just looks cool and the cover art is great as well I mean I just it's just cool holding it um, it's 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 a black record but it has a really cool a, a design on it uh, the, there's a pink version which I kind of wish I had but hey I don't care and another one of my fair downs I did a video on it uh, Daft Punk's Discovery. This was a lot harder to get than I wish it was, but it, it, so yeah, it's very reflective and glossy. It gets fingerprints all over. You can see the light ring on it. Ignore that. But I mean, this album is a masterpiece. If you haven't seen my video on it, do watch it. But you probably have if you're watching this. Basically, this thing used to go for like what twenty to twenty bucks. Pretty simple, right? Uh, but then they broke up and it skyrocketed up to like hundred, two hundred dollars. And I'm like, are you kidding me with this? And I kind of kept my eye on like Reddit threads and stuff. Just people like posting about listings of the album and um, I mean it just took 
it's so long for me to get get a hook get a hold of this thing um i got it on best buy they put up a they put up a listing i bought it actually no i bought it on merch bar first but then they refunded it and then i got it. and then i found it on best buy and i just pre-ordered it bam it got here uh, it was only like 40 30 dollars really cool sleeve here got all the songs here black records sounds fantastic as it should got i mean this is like my fourth or third favorite album oh man look at this look at this gatefold oh man i love this album so much it's it's just fantastic and I have just been itching to have this on, on vinyl because like it's one of my favorite albums. Like it's in the top five, you know, on the Topster. So, you know, I had to get it eventually and I'm glad I finally got a hold of it because, I mean, it was wild seeing the price just go up and down and becoming really hard to find for no reason. It was crazy. And I have another Daft Punk, actually. I got this before discovery uh, random access memories again absolutely love this album it's incredible it's so grand and just ah it's fantastic uh, amazing just packaging i love the artwork and ju just the it feels uh very ex it feels kind of expensive i don't know why but a uh, very cool g gatefold as well got the nice cursive uh font or writing or track titles S sounds fantastic and it comes with this really cool book booklet thing uh, that has a lot of cool art and stuff got like a uh, little x-rays of the helmets and stuff and all the lyrics and liner notes and such yeah, there's there's one of them. Great package. I just uh, was kind of I was just kind of keeping uh, again my eyes on it, and there's an Amazon listing just up for a normal price. This one was really weird because it would it would go from like a hundred dollars down to like thirty dollars, but then when it was 30 or 40 dollars you couldn't buy it it would just it, there'd be like an error or something i don't know but it took a while to get a hold of but i just it was there was a listing and i just got it so yay glad to have it next we have a uh, george clanton with slide this is basically vid vaporwave infused with alternative rock from the 90s, and it's so cool. Listen to it. Splatter vinyl. Wallet chain. This album is really, really cool, and you should uh, definitely listen to it. It's very, uh, I think it's unique. I really like the cover. Art. It's just really cool. Yeah, I got it off of his label, 100% Electronica. Got here fast and safe. So I recommend uh, and not only listening to that album, but just giving it, um, just buying from his label as well. Um, next, I have the uh, Gorillaz self-titled titled album. I got this at a local record store. And I love the packaging. Got all the cool artwork, all the graffiti aesthetic. This album gets better and better every time I listen to it. Oh, and the inserts are crazy. Look at that. Oh, man. All the songs and artwork. I love this era. This era of gorillas visually. And I love this album. Uh, kind of hits a bit of a lull around, like, Latin Simone, Starshine. But, I mean... This is so cool on vinyl. It just kind of has a good vibe on vinyl. 
and I love this album a lot. It's got it's got it's got a lot of got a lot of great, fantastic tracks on it. Um, and it sounds pretty good too. Again, I like the vibe of listening to this thing on vinyl. So, yeah, more artwork. It's just a black, black record. But that is cool. Next, my favorite Gorillaz album. Mm, excuse me, Demon Days. This pressing sounds incredible. The bass is just amped up and super, super, just lots of bleh bass but it's not overpowering it's a really cool experience having this on vinyl and the artwork is so cool and iconic i love this album front to back pretty much it's just the it's their best album in my opinion and they have like art for each song on it which is really cool and uh that's what I like about these gorillas uh, packaging is the the artwork of the of the band really gets to shine, and uh, we got big prints of the of the, the characters on the record, which is a black record. I Man, it just sounds great. I don't think I've listened to to this with my new headphones yet, which I should because it's fantastic pressing. And on the record, you have like alternative artwork of, of um, the characters. It's a great package and it sounds fantastic to boot. So I definitely recommend this record. Yeah. There you go. I also have uh, the Now Now. I uh, this album kind of shrunk on me recently. I still love some of it. I mean, it's 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 a good. It's a, it's still an underrated g Gorillaz album, but it's not one that I'm as into nowadays. But again, packaging is really cool. I mean, look at that. That's really cool. That's the label there. You have all the, all the, all the things, and uh, big art of the group here. So very cool. Even if I don't spin this album as much, but uh, "Humility" is still an amazing song. Now we move on to some records from my favorite band, Green Day. This is a gift from a good f uh, friend of mine, Dookie. Probably the best pure pop punk fun you can have. I mean, I, I love this thing. I love this album so much. I love the uh, little, all the art for the lyrics and the little doodles for each song. It's just so cool. Um, got pictures of the band here. Um, sounds really good. It's cl it's a classic. Dookie's a classic. I also have um uh Insomniac. Uh, this is the twenty fifth anniversary edition of it. Really weird, cool, like holographic rainbow reflective thing going on. Um, great album. Super energetic. Uh, Nimrod. This album is incredible. If you have not listened to, to this, please do. Because, damn, it's so fantastic. Um, sadly, the artwork here is a little pixelated. Um, but it, it actually sounds pr pretty good. Um, there's the inside weird picture of them got all the lyrics there's the back um, but this album is fantastic records sound pretty good at first I was a little on the fence with the sound I thought the symbols were 
a little too loud, but it's fine. I listen to it on like my new stereo setup and it sounds perfectly fine, so uh, I'm glad to have it. And now, uh, my favorite album of all time, American Idiot. Had to get this on record eventually. I believe I got this at the, sa the same day I got Carly Rae Jepsen's Emotion. Kind of weird gatefold thing. Rage and Love. Oh, and the lyric sheet is g ginormous. It's like a whole freaking poster. Well, look at this. It can't, it can't even, can't even see me. But yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a good package. And even though this is my favorite album of all time, it's not the best sounding album ever made. It is very, it's a bit compressed. But, uh, I love it. Uh, I can't really complain, so glad to have it on record. It sounds as it should. Moving on from there, Kanye West, College Dropout. One of my favorite Kanye albums. Good themes, good lyrics, good sense of humor, too. Um, little insert here. Not the best sounding record I have. I honestly think the digital version of this album sounds better. But it's not like a bad sounding record. It's just... I don't know. Maybe not as uh, clear, I would say. And also the track order is different on this. Like, Through the Wire is much earlier in the album than it is supposed to be also a lot of the early skits are cut out bit of a weird it's a bit of a weird uh, uh, pressing but but it's cool to have for sure next up uh, Kendrick Lamar Good Kid Mad City this pressing sounds very nice I don't think I've actually listened to the second disc but when the beat to bitch don't kill my vibe hit oh man it sounded fantastic the inside just kind of has some I guess pictures of his family in here as well as uh, some liner notes um, back I got it on sale on Merch Bar, super cheap. Figured why not, it's a great album. And now one of my personal favorite albums of all time, Kitsy Ghosts, Kanye and Kid C Cudi. This is my favorite hip hop album ever. And it's also like the coolest freaking record looking I have, look at this. Look at this, this looks so cool. It's like a f translucent pink, it looks so awesome. And this album is awesome. I mean, there's literally nothing wrong with it. It's a masterpiece. Yeah, I love having this a lot. It's a great, it's, it's such a fantastic album. And I love the art. Like, look at that. This is, this is one of the best album covers. Like, like ever. Uh, just a really cool insert. I mean, the colors. And the, the aesthetic. It's so cool, and it sounds perfect too. If you have not listened to this, do it now. Next up, King and Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard with Nanagon Infinity. I got this along with Good Kid Mad City because it was also on sale. Really cool gatefold with the band looking crazy. And this album is crazy. Look at this artwork. Look at this. It's so cool. This, sound, the, the, this sounds really cool on vinyl. And the vinyl itself. Look at this. Look at this. This is so... I mean, it's amazing. Uh, the back is kind of black, but like, look at that. That's so cool. Um, one of my favorite albums yet again. Then uh, I have... Flying Microtonal Banana. Um, 
not every song is a banger, but then there are a lot of songs that are like fr uh, freaking awesome. And the cover is a little different. I like the uh, what they did um, to make the physical version stand out. Like it's more like gold than it is yellow. And um, there's the back. You got the guitar that they used. Did you? Do you know what microtones are? You? Did you know that they added frets to their to their uh, guitars and they played the notes in between the notes? Uh, sleeve and then the record itself is like this searingly bright green, like translucent. I mean, it's crazy. I got this at a record store, so I didn't know uh, what color it would be. It's crazy. Sounds pretty good. Um, and then I have, uh, I did in fact pick up their Made in Timeland record. They dropped this exclusively on vinyl. And uh, it was like a mystery album and they didn't really advertise it. So it was kind of spreading online and it was on their website. Got it off of there. I knew it was electronic and it is, but... Uh, I kind of bought it like for the experience of listening to it on vinyl for the first time not knowing what it is um, and I knew it was limited edition so I knew it would get expensive one day so if I'm ever in a pinch I can s sell it because it's not spectacular it's basically a bunch of acid house passages one after another but it's it was cool to listen to for the first time, and I like the artwork a lot. Apparently, it's intermission music for their live shows, which is cool. I thought it was neat, just nothing so spectacular. I like the insert sleeve, though. Look at that. Pretty cool. Very cool. And the record itself, if I can find it, uh, is a uh, CN or turquoise pretty cool it was cool listening to it not sp spectacular there's like rapping at the end of the second song which was really funny uh, but it's cool it's neat it's cool to have next up lemon demon spirit phone I love this album it's one of my favorites I got it off a of turntable lab it's it's such a fun uh, kind of wacky quirky it it's corked up this album's corked up with the sauce it's busting it down just so many awesome songs on it got some cool artwork on the back cool artwork on the gatefold right there very nice very nice very cool and the record itself is this uh really cool red splatter with the dial phone I wonder I guess is that a I guess it's supposed to be the touch tone and telephone but it sounds pretty good this was pressed this was done by a needle juice and they did a great job great pressing very worth it definitely uh, listen to this album if you haven't because it is in fact fantastic next up one of my all time favorite albums My Chemical Romance Black Parade with, an, with a really cool alternative cover I mean look at this this is crazy it goes on the back this album is incredible really gothic dark gatefold image um, I mean, man, this album, it's so fantastic. It's so theatrical and amazing. I love it. Lyric sheet is really cool. Um, right there. I love this album front to back. Literal masterpiece. It transcends pop punk. Um, I believe... There's like an etching on this one. Yeah. 
might be able to kind of see it in there but it's basically the uh, the front cover art as an etch which is really cool it sounds very good S uh, sadly it shipped to me kind of damaged but because because Amazon decided to send it in a bag instead of a protective cardboard because there's like creases right on the corners which sucks but the vinyl the records themselves are intact so it's cool um then i have uh the mother 2 soundtrack on vinyl absolutely love having this just excellent package and it sounds really good this is my favorite game soundtrack it just, it holds a special place in my heart. I love the music so much. Um, and I love this package. Like, just look at this insert artwork. It has, like, all of the characters and stuff. It's so cool, you know? And it sounds really great. It sounds a lot fuller than the, than the actual game audio. It's so cool. And each record is a different color. So you have uh, gold and silver, each for like the different star men, because there's gold and silver ones. Yeah, I love having this. Shout out to Fan Gamer. Well, shout out to my mom for getting it for me on Christmas. But shout out to Fan Gamer and Ship to Shore and all them and for pressing this thing. Uh, so glad to have it in my collection. There you go. <laughs> Next up, we have a MuCore classic. In the airplane over the sea. I love you, Jesus Christ. And Frank, communism joke. Funny, funny meme. Uh, but for real, this album is incredible. Um, it's the one acoustics album that I like. Because the lyrics are freaking crazy. Um, and the artwork is really cool. It has kind of a weird a texture. But I got it used for cheap. It ain't in the best condition. There's a lot of um, skipping. But uh, hey, it was cheap. It was like 14 bucks. Um, so no big deal. Great album. Incredible album, in fact. Have this cool, old-timey looking insert. Um, yeah. N not in the best condition, but it was cheap, so I can't really get too mad at it. Um, I think this might be like the most recent r record I've gotten. Uh, Offspring Smash. Just picked it up. Well, I went to whoops, I went to my record store looking for uh, uh, an Operation Ivy record, but I walked out with this instead. Uh, super punk, uh, 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 insert thingy. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a, it's a fun album. Um. Just on a black record. It sounds pretty solid. Apparently there's like a pressing from 2008 or something that sounds really bad. So. I'm glad, glad this isn't what I have. Or, or glad that isn't what I have. Next up. Uh, Paramore's After Laughter. One of my favorite albums. This and Emotion kind of showed me that some pop music can be really good. And uh, I love it so much. Lyrics are depressing, but the but the music is upbeat, and I think that's really cool. I like the gatefold. It's got a cool uh, matte finish texture, kind of really cool. Yeah, got a little logo there, and the record itself. <laughs> it was so cool getting this. It's like this white and gray. Uh, splatter it's so cool looking and it sounds really nice I love this album a lot 
not not perfect it's not it's not a perfect album but it's one of my favorites uh, for sure a friend of mine we listen to this uh, album in the car a lot so good vibes even though the lyrics are very sad next we have a boomer classic Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon. Uh, the packaging is really nice. It really is. Um, got the cool gatefold. Oh, um, I'm a little bit mixed on the packaging, but uh, oh, now it's puffing up. See that? I hate when that happens. This thing it gets covered in fingerprints. I hate it. I hate the. Uh, it gets like dirt and like fingerprints all over it. And I don't know how to clean it off. It kind of annoys me. And now it's puffing up. Great. Look, look, look at this. Look at this. There's a big, big, big hole in it. Come on. Why? Come on. Anyway. <laughs> it came with posters. Which I haven't hung up yet, but aside from the, uh, the, the, I spit on it. No. Anyway, aside from the, my mixed feelings on the packaging, like it's a nice package, but I keep spitting on it. It's a nice package, but I don't like how much fingerprints get on it. At least with the Daft Punk one, I can wipe it off. I can't wipe this off. But aside from that, it sounds freaking immaculate. Like, like I listened to, to this with my new headphones I got. Holy crap. I was I was in heaven. The, these, these boomers knew what they were doing. These boomers knew what was up <laughs> with this music. How do I clean this? This thing is filthy. I don't know if you can see it all on camera, but... Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, look at that crap. Anyway. I just wish it had a normal finish, but... The album itself does sound absolutely fantastic. There's probably like a million uh, uh, pressings of this album, so... Maybe I'll get a different one this way down the line in the future. But, hey, at least it sounds fantastic. Because it was a little pricey. Oh my god, how do I clean this? I'm not, I don't want to look at it anymore. It's cool to have, though. It's cool to have it. I can touch this one. Porter Robbins' Nurture Album of the Year 2021. Incredible album. Uh, if you saw my Album of the Year video, you know that I love the crap out of this album. I got it for Christmas last year. Shh. Again, shout out to my mom. Very, I, I'm so happy to have it. Really cool insert. I love this album so much. It comes with a really uh, big book full of lyrics and stuff. Yeah, here's a something comforting. There you go. So cool. So cool. Sounds pretty good. In fact, when I listen to this record for the this record specifically for the for for the first time it was kind of like uh, hearing the album sort of for the first time again like like I, like I got to hear it in like a new way really cool that's a cool thing about vinyl anyway really cool just white record really cool uh, I don't have any other white pure white records so that's cool I uh, absolutely love this album and I'm, I love the packaging as well. So, Next, uh, Queens of the Stone Age Villains. This was the first vinyl record I got. I have not spun this in quite a while. But this is a great groovy rock album. A lot of fun. One of my favorite Queens of the Stone Age albums. Really cool gatefold. I remember being uh, very wowed by the... Uh, packaging and now it won't close dang it 
see this. Come on. Look at that. It won't even close. Anyway. Record. Black record. It's probably dirty because I probably touched it a lot. What's up gamers? The camera died uh, last filming session, so we're going to finish that up now. Um, just a few more to go. Next one is uh, the Sonic Mania soundtrack on vinyl. Uh, I don't really know why I got this. I don't really spin it that much. I think I've only played it once. It sounds fine, but I just don't really uh, listen to it much. I don't know how permanent this will be in my collection. It's really, it's really nice package like this. It's like shiny. And uh, the, the gatefold is uh, fantastic. Like, look at all that. Look at all that. I got some cool artwork. Yeah. Check that out. Um, in fact, it's fantastic artwork, I would say. I mean, that's really cool. There's the back. And the record itself is uh, blue. Like, it's a cool package. It came from Europe. Uh, data discs. Um, so it's good quality. I just, you know, I don't play it much. That's all. Next up, uh, Tyler the Creator with Flower Boy. Um, I lo love this album a lot. I think it's amazing. Um, really soulful instrumentals and stuff. Just great lyrics it's the total package that you would want out of a uh, hip-hop album it was my introduction to Tyler as well I got this I got this at Philadelphia during my uh, too many games trip uh, if you remember from that video um, back has the uh, B on it pretty cool and the gatefold is pretty funny it's just this and it says, uh, it basically says that they had took pictures, but they couldn't. So Tyler just relied on cell phone pics. So we have these rough cutouts of Tyler. Um, but it fits. It fits Tyler's shtick. He's a funny guy. He's a funny guy. And it comes with this really big poster sized lyric sheet um, with all the songs in different squares uh, look at that R really cool I really like the uh, the presentation the presentation of this package and it kind of folds out into a to a poster of the cassette art so that's pretty cool I was very happy to find um, this album when I did because I was really looking for, for it. And I'm glad I did. It's just on black vinyl, but it sounds good. And I was uh, also excited to find in the same place, Igor. Um, one of my... I love this album a lot. It's like in my top five. Um, very unique... Yeah, it's fantastic, and I love the story it's telling in the album. It's great. Just on black vinyl, but the label is cool. Um, it's a gatefold. Um, so, you got a cool picture of Tyler and the liner notes. Uh, it sounds really good, too. And there's a uh, little insert with the cover art. And a uh, little funny picture of Tyler in a wig. In the the Igor wig. Looking beautiful, really. Um, yeah, glad to have this on vinyl. It sounds really nice. And uh, yeah, just glad to have it in my collection. For sure, for sure. Now, uh, we have a Virgin Classic. Weezer's Blue Album. Uh, my second favorite album ever. It's perfect in every way. 
I love it. Got the track list there. It sounds good once again. Nothing crazy, but it's how it should sound. Uh, it's just on a black record. And there's a cool little insert that I like. It's a really cool black and white photo of all their instruments, which I like. Very cool. Yeah, I just never really uh, can go wrong with uh, the Blue Album, so glad to have it. I believe I got it at a, at a Best Buy. In fact, they had it. It was pretty... It wasn't very expensive, which was nice, so... Yeah, Virgin Anthems, all here, very nice. And uh, my final 12 inch is Weezer's Pinkerton, Masterpiece. I do like the Blue Album a little more, but Masterpiece. I really have no f uh, issues with Pinkerton. And uh, I'm pretty sure I actually got this on vinyl before I got Blue on vinyl. I think it might have been before I even had a turntable, uh, but it's really cool seeing uh, the artwork uh, kind of in full. Such a cool cover, such cool, such cool painting, um, and it sounds pretty great. I think there there's a very um, high fidelity uh, pressing out there. I think done by Vinyl Me Please, and uh, that'd be really interesting to hear, but. Um, this is still pretty nice. Um, and the insert is, uh, neat. You got some moody, some uh, moody pi uh, pictures of the band here and some credits and this, uh, little map image. Not quite sure what this is or what this represents. I feel like I should know. Although it does say USS Pinkerton, and there's a boat, so maybe it has something to do with that. I guess I don't know my Weezer lore like I should, but yeah, great album, and I'm uh, pretty glad to have it in my collection. I'll probably try and get uh, some other Weezer records that I like um, in the future, but for now I got the uh, I got the classics. I got the tens. And finally, I have my my only tw uh, ten inch that I have. Uh, Cara Cara Bonito's Totep EP. Um, got this at the local record shop. Uh, very nice. Um, I got it actually not having heard um, the EP. I've only heard these t two tracks, and I enjoyed it. Um, definitely a precursor to time and place, which I don't have. But uh, the lyric sheet is is uh, is interesting. It's um it's almost like badly printed on purpose, which is really interesting. Like there's a bunch of like ink splatters and stuff. Like you have some ink residue on here like obviously it's fake but it's really cool it fits kind of the dirtier aesthetic of this era of Cara Cara Bonito so that's pretty cool and then on the uh, record you have Sarah's eyes you know with that weird printing effect and I really like the uh, label art just random f photos of uh the group and it was cool getting a little 10 inch for the first time a uh, little medium sized record very cool very cool indeed and it's a pretty good EP you know not as good as that time and place but still still very enjoyable KKB just makes good music and that'll be it for my vinyl collection I hope you enjoyed seeing it i had fun showing it off and rambling about uh what i have and probably from here on out i'll do some vinyl updates kind of like what finn tano does in fact exactly like what finn tano does because i like watching those videos i find them relaxing so i'm just gonna kind of do that for however long so 
Uh, yeah. Bye.